What's cracking, big dokes? Welcome back to the Quarantine Dungeon. It is Fade the Public, and we are doing a little something, something different today. I actually have no idea if we're going to be talking fantasy football. Our executive producer of the show, Mr. Animal underscore BDGE, has created a game show. Every once in a while, we like to mess around and have a little bit of fun over here because we're always very serious. I know we never have fun on Fade the Public, so yeah. we're going we're gonna, to uh, throw a wrench at y'all. We are playing some sort of diabolical bingo game this is the email that animal sent us over so as far as me and snacks know we don't know anything so animal why don't you explain to the uh the big dogs out there what the fuck we're doing today and how we're gonna do it so this is just a a twist on bingo it's uh called quarantingo <laughs> and uh basically you're gonna have a bingo card in front of you but instead of numbers and letters it's just positions from football so we're gonna have quarterback running back wide receiver tight end and that's it because anymore i would have too much too much time to make all the questions what i'm gonna do is i have a bag I've got this bag here with golf balls and in them on them are you know it says tight end right there so i'll pull this out and i will read the question for tight end are Whoever these fantasy answers, related or nfl related they're NFL history related, fantasy related, just regular like stats or some like who cool. am I? You know, okay. there's a whole bunch of whole cool. bunch of categories. I tell you, man, animals really on his Rain Man shit when he gets in the zone. When you, <laughs> yeah. when you quarantine crazy. him, man, what I've been doing. When you quarantine him, there's no telling what comes on. out of his little fucking brain. So basically, the rules are simple. It is f- simple. I'm gonna pull the ball out. Whoever gets the question right gets to cross off that <laughs> position on their board. Here's where it gets tricky, though. This isn't like regular bingo where it says like B, like 12, and you know where to cross off. You have to decide on the spot which one you're going to cross off because you don't know what your next one's going to be. You don't know how it's going to line up on the board. And we have different boards. You know boards. what I mean? We have different boards, right? Yeah, you have different boards. All You, Snacks, and the Big Dogs have different boards. I, I, have, a, I have a board for the Big Dogs that will be on Twitter if you want to play along. If you can do in less moves than Nick or Snacks, then you will actually be beating them. What do they win? Nothing. Why? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the executive decision on what, what they win. Uh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> I, have, I don't know. It's, it's going to be warm, but we can't go outside. It's going to be warm out, though. We don't want sweatshirts. I'll probably say like a T-shirt or some type of a... Letter from Snacks is usually my go-to. A letter from Snacks, and we'll be giving out a draft guide because as of right now, oh, yeah, see, the Big Dogs, talking about. the Big Dogs Rookie Dynasty draft guide is fucking live. You can get oh, the Dynasty oh. and Rookie Kit as of Wednesday, April first, which we will be updating throughout the entire summer. Interactive, mobile, tablet, computer, desktop, all that shit. Go to BigDogDraftGuide.com/slash/mkf for Monkey Knife Fight. If you're not eligible per Monkey Knife Fight, you can just grab it at Big Dogs Draft Guide. Dot com animal continue without further ado are you guys get... gonna make it through this episode alive <laughs> what the fuck's going on between you two ear snacks both of you you're fucking shuddering fucking and coughing i, I had a fucking zone out i just zone out it happens it's shit happens roll. oh you guys see the hat by the way look at that repping always repping respect nice all right let's see what the first one's gonna be I'm not wait gonna animal up every time animal hold on don't pick it yet Scott, hit the intro. Oh, so we're back. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're back. <laughs> I didn't even know we were gone. Okay. Welcome back to Quarantingo. For all you big dogs out there, I'm going to put up the your Quarantingo board on the Fade the Public Twitter account. All you do is you screenshot it or you download it, you save the photo, whatever you got to do. And you can play along and go against Nick and Snacks. It's that simple. Are we guys ready? Been ready. I mean, I just, there's no enthusiasm. Snacks is eating his pen over there. I've been, like I've been focused and you're over there fucking doing your hair and putting makeup on, running mics, 17 different mics. <laughs> Yeah, I was standing before now I'm sitting. I yeah, realized standing was a mistake. Let's we go. were warm before. Let's run this bitch. Let's get this going. I'm going to start it off with the first ball. Oh. 
Wow. Tight end. All right, so how this is going to work is I'm going to read the question. For the first one, we're going to go first one to call it out, and then we'll go from there. The winner, you know, et cetera, can keep on going we'll, with the questions for turns. Okay, so tight end. There are two tight ends in the top 20 all-time receiving yards. Name them. All-time? All-time. We could just shout the answer out? Yeah, for the first one. So this is gonna, you know, Rob Gronkowski the- and Shannon Sharp. Wrong. Tony Gonzalez, Shannon Sharp. Wrong. Well, you have one of them. Tony Gonzalez and... Did you say Shannon Sharp after he said Shannon Sharp? Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking. It was my first, it was my first guess. Well, I could have gotten one right. Yeah, Tony Gonzalez is one. Yeah, I know Tony, Antonio Gates. Name the other? That's what I should have made the question. Antonio Gates. No. It's not Gronk. It's not... It's not Gronk. It's not Shannon Sharp. Sharp. It's not Jason Witten. It's definitely not Jason Witten. He's a goat. He uh, will be by the time he's done. What about Austin Hooper? Oh my God. You... Hold on, hold on. Jason hold on. Witten, you fools. I really? said Jason Witten. No. I literally just did two seconds ago. Yeah, you not said Jason. it's not Jason Witten. <laughs> well, that was also Jason. counting as a guess. It's not Jason Witten. It's definitely not Jason Witten. <laughs> oh, you never said it officially. Wait, how the, I, feel like, I feel like Jason Witten averages like one yard a catch. He I does. He has a lot of 20 all time receiving yards. That includes wide receivers. Okay. Crazy. Well, all right. Yeah. So, Nick, you said Tony Gonzalez first, though? I did. Did you? Okay. I, did. Snacks. I said Gronk and Shannon Sharp. Oh, you did. Okay. So, Snacks, I will give you not a point, but you get to start the next That's question. Fair. You get to answer first. Okay. Fair. Fair. How's that? Fair. This was, that was the determining one. Let's go with what we got here running back. Okay. Running back. All right, Snacks, you get the first chance to answer. In 2016, he led all non-QBs with 23.3 half PPR fantasy points per game, despite missing four games. He had a ridiculous 6.25 receptions per game. Who is he? 2016. Wow, why does that feel like 15 years ago? I don't think that's AP. You don't think he 6.25 receptions per game. Jamal Charles. Le'Veon Bell. Yes. Nick, you get a running back square. Congratulations. Wow. Snacks, really? I didn't think of leaving on Bell. He's so irrelevant. I mean, I thought the the missing four games was kind of the... I actually tweeted that exact stat before. Oh, so that's bullshit. Well, well, this, was like that. two, this was like two or three years ago. I said Le'Veon Bell averages like over six and a half receptions a game, which would be number one, like four. All right. Fucking I figured 2016 maybe was Jamal Charles last yet last year, but I guess that was too late now. Quarterback. A quarterback like question. This is going to be a problem se- uh, section for me. Anything like historical and quarterback, Snacks is going to r- fucking run train. Well, on. yeah, we'll see. I got these. There's no order here. So, okay. Quarterback question number one. Who has more career passing yards? RG3 or Pat Mahomes? Wow. That's a great question. Um, yeah. I know. I will go with RG3. Wrong. Pat Mahomes by... By about like 200 yards. It's very close. Wait, so does Snacks get that or no? No, he won't get that. That was just your chance to get a point. Snacks will get the chance to go now, though. Okay. And he will get a wide receiver question. Fuck. I want the QBs. Sorry, bud. It's okay. Who holds the record for most receptions in a single season? Most receptions in a sing. Michael Thomas. Yes. I thought you were going to fuck that up. I thought so, too. I <laughs> almost, 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 almost way overthought that. this season, so. Mm-hmm. All right. Snacks, also, the you middle get square. Why receiver square? The middle square is says quarterback, running back. Is that just if you get either of them, you could use that? Yeah, because normally it's a free space, but I don't give free spaces out in this bitch. Okay. So that's you know, so I can do what it. I did there. Okay. Next question. Should we now? Should snacks go again? Uh, no, I didn't get to go again after I went. Yeah, that's true. All right, Nick, your turn. Running back in 2013. Jesus Christ. He had 343 half PPR points in 15 games, 1,980 all-purpose yards, and 19 touchdowns. Who am I? Which year was this? 2013. I have some, some clues if you need. I can give you a hint. What? So, we do hints? Yeah. It, I didn't really give well, a how, about, how about we could do a hint? If I get it wrong, he gets it wrong, then we go to hint? Yeah. Okay, sure. I guess I have to go with... AP. Wrong. Fuck. Whoa, really? That's who I thought. I was going to say, I don't think he had 19 touchdowns ever. 
19 touchdowns is a lot. 2013? That's what you said, right? 19 touchdowns? Yeah. Sick. Wow. 1,980 all-purpose yards. Uh, okay, I have – it's not – you're positive it's not AP. If you're going to say that, then that's going to be your answer, and you're going to be wrong. I'm not saying it's AP. It's not AP. Okay, uh, I have – Wow, 2013. Right. No, um, guys. yeah, Jamal Charles. Wow, there it is. That would have been my second guess. Fuck. Nice snacks. You get yourself a running back square. Thank you, Ugh. thank you, thank you. All right, and now you get to go too. Oh, look at that. It's another wow. running back question. Wow. This running back scored 20 touchdowns for the Panthers in 2008. Scored. Say it again. Scored 20 touchdowns for the Panthers in 2008. Holy shit. Wow. Right, dude? You think it's like so easy. And that when, when you hear who it's, yeah, I, don't I don't want to give it away. I'm the no, host. don't. Don't. We have five seconds. Jesus. Um, okay. Four, uh, Foster. Three, Foster. Uh, Nick? I'm, it's got to be fucking D. Williams or Jonathan Stewart, I feel like. I uh, thought that was way too. 2008 feels like that, so. That's probably too early for them. Yeah, that's what that's what I was old. thinking. I'm gonna go with D'Angelo Williams. Correct, Nick. Oh. You get yourself a running back square. I just com- completely overthought it. Should have just yeah, come dude, that way. Just got just got shout out. 2008 just seems like he was not. It seems so long ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, you know. learn something new every day. I know. All right. Nick I was gonna go Jay Stu just because I figured he, he was the fucking goal line back and they were just yeah. him in. Our receiver. Excessive. Oh, okay. I think this is a good one for Nick, actually. Who am I? In 16 games, I had 58 receptions, 100 targets, 900 yards, seven touchdowns. This was the 2019 season, last year. Can you repeat the stat line one more time? In 16 games, I had 58 receptions, 100 targets, 900 yards, seven touchdowns, and I'm a rookie. 900 uh, how many yards do you say again? 970? 900 yards. 900 yards. 100 targets, 58 touchdowns. Seven touchdowns. Not A.J. Brown. Is it? I don't think it's – I don't think it's Snacks' boy. I'll, I'll go with Terry McLaurin. Wrong. Damn. Whoa. I thought Wrong. It was... Snacks, do you have an answer? Do you was... want me to repeat it? Uh, yeah, you could repeat it. I know it's not Darius Slayton. In 16 games, I had 58 receptions, 100 targets, 900 yards, Seven touchdowns, and I am a rookie. DK? Yes, sir. Oh, fuck. Good guess. Good DK, guess. Metcalf, you get yourself a wide receiver square, Snacks. Nice job. So many good Thank wide receivers know. last year that yeah. came out. Yeah, yeah the really rookie was. class was pretty stacked after all. I was thinking, like, the disparity between the targets and the fucking receptions is pretty wide there for it to be a Russell Wilson receiver. You know, it, it, honestly, I, I might give myself a little advantage there because a few days ago I saw on Twitter they had all the rookie receivers bunched together and no one gave Darius Slayton any respect so i went back and i looked at all their numbers and so i was trying to think i thought it was i thought it was terry Listen, but you don't need you to pat yourself on the back here right you got one right that's here. not pat myself on the back that's calling myself lucky why that receiver just, stupid <laughs> mutt uh it's actually your turn snack so yeah I, I wish it wasn't both entered the league in 2011 who has more touchdowns julio jones or aj green aj green yes Damn, I thought Julio, I thought I was going to throw you off. I've had him on my fantasy team for like eight years. <laughs> it's he, like four you don't have that many touchdowns. Four touchdowns a year. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right. Nice job, Snacks. You got yourself a wide receiver square. Thank you. Thank you. Running back, Mr. Nick BDGE. Are you ready for your question? Yes. All right. I don't get to go This again. Madden cover athlete had the second most running back fantasy football points in 2010, with 266.4. 2010. Yeah. Oh, boy. This Madden cover athlete had the second most running back fantasy football points in 2010. Um, Priest Holmes. Incorrect. Fuck. 2010 Priest Holmes? It was like 2003. Can you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can, you repeat, can, you, can you repeat the question? <laughs> this Madden cover athlete had the second most running back fantasy football points in 2010 with 266.4 points. And like, was, um, I don't remember Madden anything cover. prior to like fucking 20. <laughs> yeah, dude, the, the history ones are hard. Yeah. 
this, he was on the Madden cover? That's what Madden cover athlete means. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I think it's like too late in the game for him, but. What do you got? With Shout Danny Tomlinson? Wrong. I'm sorry. It was Peyton Hillis. Oh, oh wow. 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 Right? Good Fuck one. That. Good one. No, Very no good. I thought that. All right. Wow. Quarterback. You could put that out on Twitter as a tweet. But even though people are going to fucking cheat. They'll just Google search. it. And yeah. Know. But I, Madden fans will know because 2010, the Madden covered that, you know. I'm up, right? Yeah. All right. Quarterback question. This is for snacks, right? Yeah. Okay. This QB was the starting QB for the Houston Texans in 2016. What's his name? Hmm. 16. It wasn't Fitzpatrick. He was on the Jets. Deshaun Watson wasn't there yet. He, was he, did he start the whole year? That's not the question. He was the starting quarterback for the Houston Texans Brock in 2016. Osweiler. That's correct. Okay. Ooh, who remembers Brock Osweiler? I do. You definitely do. I do. I thought he was going to be the franchise. All right, Snacks, you get yourself a quarterback square. How are we doing, guys? Is anyone getting close? No. Uh, I'm, no. ki- I'm kind of there. I have two checked off <laughs> diagonally. Nice. I, have, I right. have five checked off and it's not even close. We've oh. got another running back question. No way, some of them are very easy, so you're going to get some, you know, some fucking hand me outs. Let's go, here. cunt. <laughs> All right. In 2009, I piled up 2,006 rushing yards and 503 receiving yards with 16 touchdowns and was good for 370.9 half PPR fantasy points. I led the league in fantasy points, outscoring the second best running back, Adrian Peterson, by 63 points. Tomlinson? Incorrect. Fuck. Can you please repeat the question? In 2009, I piled up 2,006 rushing yards and 503 receiving yards with 16 touchdowns and was good for 370.9 half PPR fantasy points. I led the league in fantasy points and outscored the second best running back, Adrian Peterson, by 63 points. Good Lord. CK2K? CK2K? Correct. Chris Johnson? Nice, nice. I forgot he fucking went over the 2K mark. Yeah, CJ two K. It's in the name, baby. He's Ooh, done nothing. The history ones are. That's I drafted him first some, overall the next year, and uh, I gotta give snacks some fancy ones. You won't get those. Oh, tight end, tough Scott category. You hate to see the tight ends. All right. Wait, is this this is me, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, this is you. By the way, this is for the win. Oh, geez. oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! All right. Well, then here we go. Animals' opinion. This is a special <laughs> topic question. What? You ready? Are you kidding me? Will Noah Fant score more than four and a half touchdowns in 2020? This is such bullshit. Do you, do you have this written down, the, yes or no? I have it written down. Okay, I want to see. Just, yeah. I want to see. Yep. I will say no. Oh, sorry, bud. You are wrong. You're going over? You're going with five? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love oh. that. Sorry, Snacks. All right. I'll mark that down. Oof. It's a close one for you, Nick. You almost, almost let it slip away. Had me scared. All right. Running back question for Mr. Nick. Excited to get this one wrong. Now nah, you got this. I think you, I think you got this. But Danny and Tomlinson set the single season record for rushing touchdowns. How many touchdowns did he score? 32. Oh, my God. Come on. It's a layup. It's a fucking layup. Was it wrong? It's wrong. <laughs> you asking all these questions from fucking 2008. I don't, I don't care about that shit. I was fucking it's 14. It's the record. It's the record. History Snacks. means nothing to me. The only thing Come that on, matters to me are fantasy points over the last three years. Snacks doesn't know it either. No, I don't. Um, but I'm going to make a guess. All right. Let's hear it. Just throw a number. If you don't know, you're not going to think about it that much longer. Yeah, well, 27. Cool. Wrong. That was very close. <laughs> oh, so close. It was 28. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, all right. Hey, listen, you guys don't know that much for the history. How, how many total okay. touchdowns did he score? Is 28 or is that just rushing? 28 rushing. He probably had like 30. I think he had 32 overall. Yeah, but the question was rushing. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was. We'll play it back was. the tape. Okay. It's all written down. You'll see it. All, all right, right, next question. Tight end or QB? Tight end or QB? Oh, we're going the running back ball. I only have two running, two balls of each here, so I don't know how this keeps happening. But yeah, I think it's a little bit of a fugaze. <laughs> no, that's okay. Listen, here we go. Here we go. Snacks, this is for you. I know. This promising running back had to retire early due to concussion issues. Drafted by the Lions. I read that like an idiot. This oh. running back drafted by the Lions had to, reco- to retire early due to concussion issues. God damn, I remember. Monty Ball. Wrong. He was a Bronco, dude. 
Okay, uh, it, might, it might be okay. David Wilson was the Giants one. Yes, uh, he was. Javid Best. Correct. Oh, oh Javid Best. Javid Best. He was a beast oh. for like three games, and then you know, you love know. it. You love to okay. see it. Javid Best the brings out my best. Up here. Wide receiver. Need it. Need it bad. Yeah, you do. You do. All right. Shut your mouth. Oh, this is. Okay, no, never mind. Just fucking read it. You don't have to give it a preface. No, this was the one for both of you, and that's, you know, that would be that would be different. Okay. Okay. Who scored more fantasy points last season in half PPR? Julian Edelman or Mike Evans? Mike Evans. Ooh, sorry, bud. It's Julian Edelman. Really? Yeah, it was, like, really close. I want to fact check you on that. No, you can fact check me, all right. I will. You can fact check Not me. I can pull it up right now if you actually want. Controversy. I have it right Controversy. here. Hurt oh, no, I don't. I don't. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. We'll, we'll check it afterwards. All right. Snacks, your turn. Yes, that's correct. Ooh. Quarterback. Okay. okay, I need one of those. Yeah, all right, good. Good to know. Animal's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. No, I'm kidding. All right, I'll give you a real one. Who has more career passing yards, Andrew Luck or Michael Vick? Oh, wow. Really good one. Michael Vick. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. It's Andrew Luck. It's, it's very yeah. close. Andrew Luck has 23,671, and Michael Vick has 22,464. I was surprised at that. I thought he would have had yeah, more. Yeah, I'm pretty that's... I, w- I would have said Luck, I think. He would have got lucky. Yeah. He, but he, he missed like two years. I know, yeah. I know Vick missed years too, but he played like 10. It's tough. It's tough. All right. Tight Good end. Man. Let's run it. Mr. Nick, you get a tight end question. Let's I see. need this. Who had more receptions in 2019, Jack Doyle or Evan Ingram? Jack Doyle. Wrong. Sorry. Jack Doyle had 43 receptions, and Evan Ingram had 44. And he missed, like, eight games. Yep. That was was the whole point of the question. Wow, I really hope Evan Ingram stays healthy. That would be nice for my job. Right? He could be good. That would be nice. Really, Animal? You think he could be good if he stays healthy? (laughs) You never know. (laughs) All right. Oh. Another tight end. Another tight end. Shit, snacks for the win. That's not good. Look at you trying to find the hardest fucking possible question, you cheating degenerate fuck. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a write it down. So do you, either of you have a piece of paper? Yeah. All right, so this I'm is... going to read the question. You guys write down the number, and whoever's closest gets it. You, this is insane. Love that. Love this that. How, this is Are that. you kidding me? This is standard bingo procedure. No, it's. I, I'm getting <laughs> cheated bad right here. This is standard. I made the game up. This is how it works. All right. Nah, I'm pretty pissed. Write it down. Lie. How many receptions did Darren Waller have last season? Write it down and show the screen. Do you both have it down? No, hold on. This is Price is Right rule. So, well, no, no. Just I think he's closer. looking it up. No, I'm no, not. Looking it up. Hands are up. I was just writing down. Up. I got it. All right. You ready? Flip them. We have 88 for Nick. What do you have, Snacks? I can't see yours. It only shows, shows me Nick's. 60. Oh, my God. Not even close, Snacks. Nick, you get the point. It was 90. Wow. Nice job. That was that big. Is, that's, that's Tight end bullshit. square. Sorry, that Snacks. Is, that's trash. I don't think I'm playing the rest of the game. No, Love that. Good. Easy dub for me. I think I'm going to give you the dub. All right. It's I'm a pissed. quarterback question. Mr. Nick, here we go. Did Ryan Tannehill finish as a top 20 fantasy quarterback in 2019? Overall? Yeah. Yes. No, he was 21. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not. Sorry, bud. I'm going to fact check that as well. Damn. Snacks. Let's see this. Stay Fuck off. I didn't need that one anyways. Running back. Mm. Running back. Joy. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Who am I? I'm famous for running the football and knocking my fiance out in an elevator. Ray Rice. Good job. <laughs> Snack. Gets the square. Running back square. All right. Well, the last one I need. I don't need fucking running back save my life. All right. Let's get a little Mr. wide receiver action in this bitch. Ooh, sorry. It's back to running back. Fuck you. Fuck you. you. This guy is old as shit and still playing. Well, let's 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 break this down here because there are multiple people that fit into that. It's a running back though, so it's really it really doesn't. Well, AP and Frank Gore are both options. Well, you have to pick one. This guy is old as shit. Frank Gore's not on a team, so apparent so uh, technically he's not playing. Uh, but he is. So Frank Gore. 
Yeah, good job. Fucking cunts. I can't, ass motherfucker. I, I can't believe this. That was a layup. I can't. It wasn't a layup because Adrian Peterson is old as shit and, and is actually on a team. Oh, it's not the same. Cunt. Quarterback. Joy. Is this for the win for you, Snacks? No. No. You just Who need a tight averaged end? Tight end, more, two QBs. Who averaged more fantasy points per run. game last season? Daniel Jones or Tom Brady? Brady started hot and then slowly disintegrated. I don't even think he reached over 20 his last 10 games. Even if it's wrong, I don't care. Daniel Jones. Nice job, Snacks. Yeah, 17 and a half points per game and uh, Brady at 17. So you're telling me Daniel Jones is on a trajectory to be the greatest quarterback of all time? That's exactly what I'm telling you. There's no way around that. Nice. That's exactly what I was hoping you would say. Nice. All right. Mr. Nick, I think I'm running out of running back questions. <laughs> yeah, you think? Let's see. I hope I have another one. This Rams running back averaged 21.29 points per game in a season and then 22.36 points per game the next season. Okay. Uh, is this my question? Yes. Can you repeat that one more time? This Rams running back averaged 21.29 points per game in a season and 22.36 points per game in the next season. Don't shoot. All right. Well, are you not going to give context but to, of the year? No, that's the whole point. If I tell you the year, you'll know. There's, there's a couple of running backs from the Rams. I know. There. Well, there's Steven Jackson. There's Todd Gurley. But, like, the difference between the two is just fucking. Damn, you're not even going. All right. I guess Marshall Falk, too. That would be anyone. Long, long but you have to guess ago. one. So. so it's half PPR. Can you do the points again? Yeah. Half PPR. He averaged 21.29 points per game. And then 22.36 points in the next season. I think that Gurley was above that. I think he averaged in the 23 to 24 range. I don't think Steven Jackson ever put up those type of fantasy numbers. So I will go with Marshall Falk. I'm sorry. It is Todd Gurley. Fuck. Wow. Yeah. I pro- I pro- Honestly, I think I would have went with Steven Jackson. People forget how fucking good he was, but 20 is a lot so for a one-dimensional running back. My receiver for snacks. Useless. Let's go. Useless. I'm sorry, bud. Listen, I don't make the rules, even though I do. <laughs> True or false? Larry Fitzgerald has 25 plus more touchdowns than Calvin Johnson. False. Ooh, it's true. He has like 40 touchdowns more. Really? Yeah. Calvin Johnson didn't play that long. Remember? I would have. I would have chose Calvin there. No, he didn't. Remember? Really? Dude, dude, the guy was a fucking animal. I know. An actual animal, not like you. Ooh, tight end. I can't believe you fucked me over on that one before. <laughs> that is such bullshit. True or false? Dallas Goddard was a top 10 fantasy tight end in 2019. It's my question, right? Yes. True. Yes, he was. He was 10. Wow. Snacks. This is your chance, maybe. Fuck. This is your chance. I mean, why do you keep Fuck. picking tight ends, you cunt? I didn't do it on purpose. Yes, you Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Animal's opinion. <laughs> no, I don't have any more of those. <laughs> you know, I, only you know, one tight end for double digit touchdowns in 2019. Who was it? One, I'm sorry, say it again. Only one tight end scored double digit touchdowns in 2019. Who was it? Great, fantastic question. I am drawing a blank, but I'm going to make a guess. That's a good idea. And I'm going to go. I get the answer after, right? Yeah. Austin Hooper. Mark Andrews. Fuck! Mark Andrews. Nick, you gave yourself a tight end square. Guys, we got to be getting real close here, right? I need a wide receiver. Well, don't tell me. Because we get a QB. Don't fucking cheat then. I got to cheat a little bit. Snacks is cheating right now. Double laptop maneuver. No, I'm sorry. I'm I'm working. I know people are emailing you. Quarterback question. This is for Mr. Snacks. Are you ready? Why is it for me? Because it's your turn. Oh, no, it's for Nick. No, it's my turn. It is for next shit. All right. Run it. This player is the oldest player ever drafted in the first round. Brandon Whedon? Correct. Too easy. It was easy. easy. It was supposed to be one of the earlier questions, but I'm running out. Great draft pick by the Browns, too. Love the experience that he brought to them. Yeah. Running back question, Mr. Snacks. Okay, I can use this. I can use this. I don't know if I have any left. In 2012, he rushed for 2,097 rushing yards. AP? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> i was waiting for more no it's like one of my like last questions i'm running out oh tight Fuck. end 
I need a running back or a wide receiver would get it done. You keep pulling fucking tight ends. <laughs> this tight end had 13 touchdowns in 2018 and finished as the tight end four. Is it my question or his? It's uh, yours. Uh, Eric Ebron. Yes. Oh. Yes. I don't even have – I have no more tight end spots on my board. Well, then you don't get shit for that. Sorry, That's bud. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Bad beats, man. Bad beats. Oh, no more running back questions. All so right. what, you just can't do running backs anymore? That's I fucking – This is ridiculous. I, I want you to – Wide receiver. I want you to repick that. You were looking in the fucking bag. We well, picked okay. running back and then said he doesn't have any fucking running So then back he questions. started looking for – I only have one running back question left. I got to save just it. Go. This guy's a fucking cheater. <laughs> All right. Who had more receiving yards? 2019 Stefan Diggs or 2018 Stefan Diggs? 19. Yes. Fucking. By 100 and like 11 or something. Not good at math. But yeah. Yeah. But he actually had like 45 less fancy points. Crazy, right? Crazy. Crazy. What you needed to do, Animal, is have more of these questions open-ended so that someone could steal it. Because when you just do the yes or no or whatever, the other person doesn't get the chance to get the point, which makes it run out of questions quick. Well, I have a little bit of both in here. So just for next time, we're quarantined. Yeah. Listen, this is a, you know, the trial. It's good, right. good man. You've done good. Yeah, Wide receiver. Fun. All right. Let's run it. In 2009, Brandon Marshall scored 53 PPR points and had a... And had how many receptions in a single game? Oh, man. Is it 17 or 19? Like, this is an open-ended one. So, Snacks can get a chance to steal this. I will go with... Famous game. 19? No. Fuck. Snacks, how many receptions did Brandon Marshall have in the 2009 game where he scored 53 fantasy points? 22. Was it 21? It's 21. (laughs) 21. (laughs) Damn damn it. Sorry, guys. (laughs) Uh, All right, let's run it. Uh, Wide receiver. Let me see. Ooh, it. Here we go. Why one. didn't I see the ball? I already, I already showed, showed it. it. It's on camera. Here we go. It's a good one. Who am I? I have played for only one team. I have nine touchdowns in my first four years and nine touchdowns last season. Who am I? And you only played for one team. And he's a wide receiver? Yes. He's only played for one team. Wow. And how many – I'm sorry, how many touchdowns through the first four? Nine touchdowns in my first four years and nine touchdowns last year. Should we have a clock? Uh, Why, Nick, I think you know it, don't you? Of course he knows it. That's why I got – Nick knows it. I got to buckle down here. I'm going to need an answer. Yes, I know, I know. Um, Just let me know when you need the answer. Like now. Devontae Parker. Yes. Fuck. Wow. Did you know Went that the whole it. time? No, I was debating. Uh, between who? It. All right. Really just him. I just okay. wasn't sure. I was, try- I was trying to still think. I'm like, he's the only one that could possibly fucking. Running back. This might be the last running back question. Nick, good luck. Just running back in 2005. <laughs> he was the top overall scorer in 2010 with 360 half PPR fantasy points. He lapped the field. Aaron Rodgers had the second most fantasy points with 313.5. 2010? 2010 running back. The most points in all of fantasy. I'll go with AP. Sorry, it's not AP. Snacks, you got an answer. Uh, Matt Forte. No. You guys want to hear it? He never led the league in. Sure. Arian Foster. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, nice. right? Now that you hear it. It's just, hard to put a time frame on when all these fucking running backs came yeah, in. Yeah, I was gonna, I could have given you a hint like he's a poet, but then like that might I would have got that in a second. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was going to I didn't throw it in there. Okay. Could have said okay. undrafted free agent. What do we need here? Good. What do we need, fellas? Give me one. Uh, wide receiver I can... or running back? I'm up. Don't fucking right. try wide, to sell Wide receiver. Ooh. All right. All right. Write it down. Devin Funches career touchdowns. Devin Funches career touchdowns. Write it down. Let me know when you both put a hand up when you're both done, and then we'll flip. Good. All right. All right. Let's see him. Snacks, what the fuck does that say? You have four letters. Okay. All right. Snacks has 16. Nick has 13. Snacks gets it. It's 21. <sighs> Believe it or not, right? 21 touchdowns for that guy? I, I yeah. thought he scored like eight his rookie year and then scored like one every year after that. Yeah. He's such a bum. Quarterback question. I really thought one of you guys were going to have it by now. I answered 11 questions right, but I have not. <laughs> yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. 
Stop right. laughing. <laughs> yeah, you fucking cunt. Okay, here we go. In two thousand, in the two thousand six draft, which quarterback was drafted first? Matt Leinart or Jay Cutler? Not like first overall, like before each other. Who was drafted? Matt Leinart. Yes. Is that he was drafted not game? ten. Jay Cutler was drafted eleventh. Snacks, that's not it yet for you. No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you right. said there's no. You said there's no more running back questions, right? Well, there is. Oh. All right. Well, he, I, just no, ha- I need, he just I, hasn't made them up yet. Yeah, I need to know that. Tight end, fuck. All right. Tight end. This is nonsense. I have no more on the board. Oh, yeah. All right, well, Snacks can steal if you get it wrong. Let's see if I have an open-ended one. Who had more receiving yards in 2019? Tyler Higby or Jared Cook? Hmm. Higby. Yeah. But yeah. He, well, all he did was steal from Snacks, so that's good. Thanks, Animal. Appreciate the encouragement. <laughs> All right, Snacks, we got a tight end question for you. A chance to win it. Look at that. Yeah, I can win it with two lines. No. No, I'm just saying I could fill two up. Be pretty impressive. No. <laughs> you have to okay. choose one. Travis Kelsey was the tight end one in 2018 and 2019. What season did he score more points in? 18. Yes. It's easy. Wow. Fuck. Congratulations, Snacks, the game show champion of the world. Fuck this. <laughs> Nonsense. Listen, someone had to have finished like eight rounds earlier than we did. I honestly thought someone was going to win 10 minutes ago. I did we should have. Well, you really <laughs> fucked me on the, the, the made up rules, write it in. All right. Well, if it was Darren Waller, you weren't even close to his reception number anyway. Well, I, I, I mean,. I don't think the question would have been how many receptions did Darren Waller have. That was could a question. Been. It just didn't. I just could have been know. within the ten reception fucking threshold. Also, my tight end spots running out. Animal fucking just being a cunt. There's all these factors <laughs> that go into play here. Yeah, that's... I also dropped one of the running back balls like ten minutes ago, and I don't know. Where <laughs> <I went. laughs> okay, this is f- I'm pissed. I'm upset. Honestly, all right, well, uh, Animal, this was a lot of fun. This was fun. I hopefully, I hope it made a good video. I feel like it. Uh, I feel like it was so honestly perfect That will for be quarantine. determined by... Yes. Do your best to make us not look like assholes. I know well, there's no way to do that for Animal, but for me and <laughs> Snacks, at least. For the I just hope that, you know, if you're home alone, you're, you're during this, this quarantine, was perfect. you're bored, yeah. you can this play This was a great idea. No, this fun. was really good. This was really good. Sharpens the mind a little bit, you know, brings you back some memories, some old names. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I feel I was, dumber. Some, when I was doing some of the research for some of these questions, like I totally forgot about guys like Arian Foster, like how awesome they were at fantasy. I love like, Arian Foster. Like, you know, I'm surprised there was no Matt Forte questions. He, I feel like he was so underrated. I used to love Matt Forte. I feel like every yeah. question from like 07 to 12, just I, everything just went to Adrian Peterson in Dude, my mind. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> yeah. I love, what would you say, Priest Holmes? <laughs> yeah. Priest Holmes, yeah. <laughs> I got a tribute. Max, I got a tribute question for you since you didn't partake. Okay. Do you actually have it or are you going to fuck it? Uh, no, I got to – it's it's simple. It, it's simple. Mm. It came it came across Twitter the other day. You should probably know it. In 2008, this team had two 1,000-yard rushers. Who was the team and who were the running backs? The Broncos? No. Tim Tebow and Noshan Moreno. <laughs> Let's go with uh, the Giants, Brandon Jacobs and Mob Bradshaw. <laughs> That's where we get you here. People would think it was a Mob Bradshaw, but it was actually Derek Ward. Derek okay, Ward. so so I want to go back to uh, the Todd Gurley question, first of all. 2018, he averaged 24 fantasy points per game. That was my mindset as I was reading through it, and I was correct. Thank you, Animal. I always have to fact check you because you're fucking No, 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 no. Read the question again. So Read I the have full question. 21.29s in 2018, 22.36 in 2019. He was at 24.0. Half PPR. Two, 2000, yes, I'm looking at half PPR, you cunt. I have it here. Where did you, where did you get it from? fantasy pros. Yeah, but you didn't go to fucking the actual the regular settings. Yeah, I did. No, see, that's flawed number one. Let's make sure. Let's let's check all the fucking nonsense that Animal probably did. I don't want you fact checking me. Because you know I'm right. I don't want you fact checking me. You got a different source. Yeah, that's all. Max, I think you did a great job. Listen. Yeah, I'm, thanks, buddy. I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's Nick. It happens, man. It's, it's, it is what it is. I mean, who'd you say for that anyway? Didn't you say Marshall Falk? I wouldn't, if you said Todd, if you said 24 points, I literally said in the video, I said, no, Todd Gurley had 24 points one of those seasons. If you had 24 in the question, the right one, I would have went with Gurley. I think that Gurley was above that. I think he averaged in the 23 to 24 range. We don't know. My sources didn't have that. I know, because your sources are fucking trash. Your sources have the coronavirus. Whoa, Max, you're going to let him talk to your sources like that? Yeah, fuck your sources. Just Google. Fuck your sources, fuck your hair, fuck that stupid fucking visor, fuck your stupid shirt, fuck that mic. 
I think he looks good. He doesn't. Looks like shit. Outside of uh, what we just did, what have you guys been doing? Anything that we can like tell the people that like to keep them entertained, like something that you've been doing that you think they might enjoy? I watched I- Contagion two nights ago, and it's fucking <laughs> step for step what is happening in our lives right now. It's out of control. Well, Great cast. Pandemic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, it's, it's like factual to the scientific fucking elements of it too, which is wild. So that's fantastic. And then we've been working hard on the giraffe guy behind the scenes. Sick. I've um, I've been watching binge watching Ozark. Eating Parmesan cheese. And- I was get I was getting there. <laughs> I've been eating a ton of Italian food. A lot of Parmesan cheese is topped on all of this. A lot of Domino's. A lot of garlic. Feeling great. Really, really, really great. Domino's is definitely going to have an outbreak of coronavirus. In the next like two weeks, you're gonna be like every employee no. nationwide at Domino's has coronavirus. I, I don't think so. I feel a, like Domino's is immortal. I got a pizza the other day and they didn't cut it. I don't yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, I was so what did you do? Did you take your own pizza cutter? Yeah, and I cut it myself, but I didn't cut it the way they cut it because it was a thin crust. You know, they do like the squares. Oh uh, yeah. Cut it like a regular pizza. Like eight just, slices. It didn't taste the same. It's not the same. Nah, the best uh, part yeah, about this the thin crust at Domino's is little, just being you you get to eat like forty slices and you're yeah, still like it was just like one pie yeah. in your mouth. That's what I did yesterday. That's what I got for lunch. I just I just called up Domino's and I went over there, picked it up and, and they cut it devoured. for you? Huh? They cut it for you? Yeah, cut it up. Oh, nice. Good shit. It's cute guys. Yeah. Right, oh, well. oh what else I've been doing? Um no, I was right. you guys this last week. No, I'm <laughs> serious. You guys, it's it's a lot of fun. Go on companies' websites and live chat their customer service oh, yeah. representatives and just have a conversation with them. See what they're up to. See what they're doing. It's um sounds awful. No, it's really cool. It's really neat. Can you give us an example of a website that you did it on? Myfreecams.com. No, I did it on Bank of America, my bank. There was no issues. I just wanted to talk. <laughs> just um, looking for some companionship. With guy's, name, guy's name was Diego. He was... Also, low key, a, a fact: if you ever, you ever like racked up overdraft charges, like your debit card goes under zero and they just charge you like seventy bucks for no reason. Yeah. If you call them and are just like, "I've been a customer for five years, can you take that charge away?" They always are just like, "Yeah, right away." I've, I've done it like four times over the last year because I keep going under my fucking overdraft <laughs> charge. So, <laughs> money saving facts: all the money I just. All the money you guys just saved, you should go spend on the draft guide. BigDogDraftGuide.com slash NKF. We love you. We're out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll be doing bullshit like this every single week while we are quarantined. Until I see those dumb fucking faces in person, I don't know what I'm going to do. Bye. Little muscle milk snacks? It is. You've been getting your push ups in? I drink two of these a day. I do my push ups, I do my curls, I do my pull ups. How many pull ups can you do? A set of six, five? Five or six, yeah. It's all right. I do like four or five sets a day throughout the day. Good. I want a whole new fucking snacks when we get out of here. Yeah, you might get one. I'm so fucking bored. Snacky steroids. Nothing else to do.